Hi everyone, it's Audrey from Country Stampers and today is day 7 of my 12 days of Christmas and today I have this elegant card um, for you and it is just, I found it on Pinterest so and um, I can't remember who originally pinned it but I thought this would be a great card to create with you guys so let's get started what you're going to need is a piece of basic black measuring eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. You're going to need a couple of pieces of scrap for punching and a scrap for stamping. And um, this is your inside panel and this measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then you're going to need another piece of whisper white and this measures four and a quarter by three inches and then our silver glimmer paper and this measures four and a half by three and a quarter I'm going to be using two stamp sets um, Wonderland and Festival of Trees and two punches we're going to be using the tree punch which coordinates with the Festival of Trees which you can purchase this in a bundle and save 15% I'm also using the tree builder punch um, because I really like the little bird over here for this card. So you can also stamp the little bird from Festival of Trees and fussy cut it out. Um, I'm not really good at fussy cutting so I thought that the tree builder punch would be an awesome um, change. I'm also going to be using the embossing folder Modern Mosaic for this card. Um, the one that I saw on Pinterest they used the big dot one um, and I just wanted to change it up a little bit. So let's get started. So now I'm gonna I've already scored my card at four and a quarter and I'm just gonna fold this over lining up my edges um, making sure I had it even. I'm gonna use my bone folder give it a nice crease. And I'm also going to be using fast views um, because the glimmer paper is a little bit heavier. Um, so you want something that's really going to hold that down. So I'm just going to take some of my fast views and put it on the back here. And this stuff is really good. It's sticky and it holds real good. So then I'm just going to place that, leaving about, uh, looks like about a half inch all the way around. And just place that down and set that to the side and now I'm going to bring in my little stamping pad here and I'm going to stamp Silent Night from um, Wonderland using basic black archival I'm just going to stamp this up and I'm going to stamp it up close to the corner over here so that way I have places for my tree and then I'm going to let that dry for a quick minute and we can just bring this in and oh wait a minute nope that's my big piece for my inside and bring in my scrap and we can also while that's drying we can go ahead and stamp our trees so they're ready to go make sure that there's no glitter on your paper and I'll get that out of my way and I'm also using this tree here I'm using two different trees and there we go all right so now that that's drying let's I'm going to take this over to my big shot and I'm just going to place it in my folder and I will be right back. Okay. 
Now you want to stamp before you run it through the Big Shot so that way it will be an even um, stamp um, so you won't have any rigid ends. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in some 3 8 um, basic black satin ribbon, stitched ribbon. The one on Pinterest um, used the 1 8 silver cording. I didn't have any. So I went ahead and I changed it up and I really like it with the black satin ribbon. And I'm just going to grab some scotch tape and I am going to do um, the cheater method with this. And let me just cut this. And just wrap it around to the back side. And you put my tape on my ends to hold my back down. Alright, and now we're going to use some more fast fuse just because sticking to um, the glimmer paper is kind of hard. So I'm just going to make sure I have enough of fast fuse on here to help it stick. And I'm just going to center that evenly all the way around and place that right down. Now I'm going to punch out three trees. I'm going to punch one out from a piece of basic black and then I'm going to punch out the two that I stamped. And all you're going to do is line this up inside the punch and punch and line this one up and punch. All right, now we'll step that off to the side. And I'm just going to take some more of the fuse, the fast fuse here. And I'm also going to take a glue dot for the bottom, for the trunk of the tree. I'm just going to twist that up because it is going to go over the ribbon. So I want to make sure that I have it. So, um, It'll stick to the bottom, and I'm actually going to bring my other card in and see how I line that up. And I put it on top of the ribbon, about a, right about there, and I just stuck that down. And now I'm going to take some dimensionals um, and add those to the back of my two trees. And it doesn't matter which, you know, which tree you put where. It's, you know, on how you like it. And then I'm just going to place this one right here. Making sure I don't cover up my silent night. And then I'm going to raise this one up a little bit from the second tree that I placed down. And place that one down. All right. So now I'm going to grab my scrap piece of cherry cobbler and oops, wrong punch. <laughs> and my build a tree punch. And if you notice, the little bird is right there on that edge. So you can just pop it right in there. Okay. Why isn't that? Oh. And watch the pieces fly. All right. Set that to the side. Now you can either place this this way or you can actually place the bird this way. I have mine facing to the left and I'm just going to take a glue dot here and I'm going to just wad it up and I'm going to put it on the back of my bird and I'm just going to set my bird on the tree like it's sitting there. All right. So now for my inside, I am going to stamp 
silent night. I mean, all is calm, all is bright. I didn't do my other card. Um, I didn't do the inside yet, so I'm going to do, do it now. So I'm just going to lay this down here, making sure I have it facing the right way. All right. I need my stamp pad again. I'm just going to place this card over there. And I'm going to also use the tree branch with the pine cone. And I'm just going to add this to my upper corner. And I'm just going to line it up with the edge just to give it another little, oops. All right, so we'll flip that over. I had rocked it a little bit, so, and I must have had some ink on the edges. All right, so let's try this one more time. There we go. And now I'm going to stamp all is calm, all is bright, right in the center here. Just like that. Let that dry for a few minutes, a few seconds. And that's one thing I did notice with our archival is it takes a few seconds to dry. All right, so now I'm just going to use some snail adhesive on the back here. And I'm just going to add this right into my card. Lining it up, keeping it evenly spaced all the way around. There we go. And now I'm going to take my satin ribbon and I'm going to actually put it underneath and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to measure this way and then I'm going to cut it off and I'm just going to tie a cheater bow or a cheater knot right here. So I noticed that we only have nine more days to Christmas and I am a couple of days behind on projects. So I might over the next couple of days um, start doubling up on my projects and doing two videos a day for you so I can get caught back up. And so there's our card. And now it's ready to send out to one of our special friends or family members um, or even to get hand out to a co-worker you know keep them in your car maybe um, I know I have a couple of Christmas cards that I just have laying in my car in a little kit so in case I run into anybody that I might have forgotten so I can give them a cute card for the holidays just to tell them that I'm thinking of them so there you go. I hope you really enjoyed this and that you come back again tomorrow um, to see what we have for you for day eight. And also remember to stop over to my blog um, and check out the end of year sales that Stampin' Up! has going on. And, you know, um, we have some great products on the, the end of year sale. And everybody's gearing up for the occasions catalog being released on January 5th and I will uh, I had another pre-order come in and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a video or not on it um, I might um, so because it does have some really cute products in there and so I might share that with you guys um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today and that you guys stop back again and happy crafting to you all. Bye.